so guys, we're gonna be doing our home flipping adventure today. We are in Atlanta, Georgia. Woo! All right. And we're doing our home flipping adventure. We're actually here at a home flipping workshop. We're heading out to our house to do a complete walkthrough like we do with these. My beautiful wife and partner Amber's here. Hey everybody. So stay tuned as we go through our house and do our thing. We'll see you there. Here's a new roof. Now, if I'm gonna make this a rental, different conversation. Right. But if I'm gonna flip it, it needs a new roof. Nice. It needs some curb appeal too. Oh, like yeah, the paint the color is just so drab. It's a very drab color. So being colder in the house still, still happens in the south, huh? <laughs> All right, so we're checking out this house. It's an amazing house. They're asking 305 for it, and we are in Atlanta. Um, this is beautiful. This house needs a lot of work, though, so it's pretty cool. All of our students are getting to see how this works. So, got my boy Gerald right here. He's always right there taking care of us, doing his thing. Pretty cool. Nice layer. This, this, you're supposed to pull as many leaves in it? I mean, can you imagine the leaves in the. Oh, gosh, <laughs> can you imagine? I, I battle with leaves. I couldn't imagine that thing. I know, right? Is it me, or is we up and down on the floor? <laughs> Major foundation problems back there. The whole back of the it's house is sloping. Something. Yeah, we gotta go yeah. check that out. Yeah, you don't use a glass door in a garage. For a reason. Yeah. The cabinets aren't in bad shape. This is interesting and not in a good way. Well, it's a log, log <laughs> that's actual that concrete with log. Not even real they, they're not there. real. They, oh, they're not real. They feel oh. hollow. Little uh, log cabin action right in the house, huh? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Random sink right there for no apparent. Is that a wet bar? <laughs> I'm not really digging the faux. Uh, no, no, no. Not even a little bit. So let's check out this basement. I, I didn't know Atlanta had basements. Yes, I asked them yesterday. They said, yep. They're usually walk out basements. Okay. Is there like an electrical panel in here? I haven't found that yet. Let's take a look in here real quick. So here we are, we've got the we've got the furnace, which, you know, it's a trained furnace. It needs to be clean and serviced, but it's in good shape. Hot water is in good shape. Uh, let's go find an electrical panel. Whoa, we've got cobwebs and spiders in my yeah. hair. By the way, you don't normally wear a suit when you do this, but we're actually doing a workshop, so people watching this go, what kind of flippers are you <laughs> wearing a suit? That's not our normal thing. Yeah, my heels were sinking in the in the dirt outside. <laughs> but we go back from here, we go back to the hotel, and it's all part of what we do at the home flipping workshop. So part of the journey. All right, let's see what's in here. We yeah, have big plans down here to put a bathroom, eh? Mm -hmm. Poured concrete walls. Canoe, or kayak rather. I have not seen an electrical panel yet. Big walkout basement. Yeah, let's Welcome. See. Come on in. Keep on cranking. A little challenging, Brian, right? You can't, yeah. it, it's, it's a little, yeah, this whole thing's a little, uh, this, it's settling in the back for sure. Wait, have you been upstairs yet? No. Okay, so you'll find out that this, the house is definitely settling, okay. and there is something structurally it's not right with this. A lot. A lot. Okay. But you know, it's funny, with a basement finish, you can't tell. I have not found an electrical panel yet. A little more complicated when you can't just see everything. So I look at something like that, like when I see something like that, I'll take a look at that. It's a plumbing repair I have to make. Obviously, they're trying to fix a, a leak there. You think it was uh -huh. fixed already? I don't think this is a permanent solution. <laughs> you know, I don't think that's gonna, that's probably gonna fly, but I, I don't think so. Cause look, I, like, I don't know if that's a, I don't know what that is. Some kind of a, they're trying to stop the leak or something it looks like right there. So I'm sure there's probably a repair, but like for me, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say, yeah, plumbing issue there, move on. That's like, in a house, that's what I'm doing. Cause I, I you know, I don't wanna spend, if I'm, cause I might go out and look at five houses in a day. So I don't have time to spend an hour and, and like, I'm already in this house going, like, you'll see, I, you go upstairs and walk on the floor and you'll see the floor and I'm like, so structural problems on a house this size, you could, you could be in the 40, 50 grand range for that repair easily. Now, it may or may not be, but I think you'll see when you get upstairs. And, and I can't see here. where the structural problems are coming from. Correct. I just walked around the back and it's all like got brick right there. You can't really see where it, they're coming from. Brick so on I was the outside. Walk over there. Which brick's not coming off, right? No, and it doesn't really look like it's bowing. It might be bowing like ever so slightly, yeah. but it's not enough to like say yeah. what the problem is. But Do you like how they like cut the carpet into squares? <laughs> not even, yeah, they're nice. It does come with a kayak. 
I know. Know. That is nice. So basically, for your own notes, like, would you like take pictures? You know, so oh yeah, you oh definitely, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Definitely. Because when you do five houses, yeah. you go back and forget what was in one house. Exactly. You okay. think you remember, but you won't. Right. I always take a picture of the outside of the house oh, first, and then the, and all of the inside really pictures, and then when I get to the next house, oh. that way it separates the pictures. Take a picture of the exterior first. It's a good idea. So the. This side of the house doesn't seem bad as far as structural issues. It's over this wall, and I'm, I don't see a way to get over there. You walk the kitchen, felt the sloping and everything? Yeah. So Amber will talk about it. It depends on the price point of the house you're working on, right? If this house is going to be 250 you know, it was slower. It was it was a lower amount. Maybe you keep the floor, but I think for sure you put a new backsplash. You need a new, new window. You need stuff. You, you, you can clean a tub. I, I wouldn't. In this price point, all new. Because it's not that much money to do a whole new bathroom. Three bedrooms down here. And then two upstairs. So it's five bedrooms. It needs to be like clearly repainted. That's not a repair, right? No, you just, just paint. keep that. So in the paint section, paint. It's, just a, it's just per square foot. Yeah. The tallest. Uh, what do you find here? Anything good? Any bodies or anything? <laughs> you never know. You never know what you're looking for in here. All right, so make sure they get a window count. You look at a window. What I do, I look at a window. I look at their single pane. You know, if they're double pane and they're and they're vinyl, they're good to go usually. But when they're single pane like that, gotta be replaced. Okay. Yeah. So the question he was asking is, he, he and his wife go and look at houses, and they they pass on them because they wouldn't live in them themselves. Most and that's, that's such a great question. But there's so many different types of buyers, and as long as the comps support that um, a house is selling in that neighborhood, then. I would never say I'm not going to buy that house because I wouldn't live in it myself. They're beautiful when they're done, but maybe they're not the right size, maybe they're not in the right school district, maybe, you know, a number of different reasons. So as long as the comps support that the houses are selling at, you know, the ARV that you can buy the house for X, sell it for Y, and the houses are selling in a short amount of time. I'd be all over that. I would never restrict because I wouldn't live there myself. And we're going to talk about some design elements because people tend to design it as if they were living there themselves, that's and that's a big point. mistake. That's another point as well. My biggest concern is the settling over here, um, and I can't see where it's coming from because the basement ends at that wall, and I can't get any further to see what the problem is. I was headed to the garage to see if there was an access over there. I don't know if there is or not. But that's my biggest concern. So that's not a number we can even put on it on the um, evaluator. That's something that if I was seriously interested in this house, I would have to have someone that deals in foundations look at that and give me a price on it before I would ever even put an offer on this house. Don't just say, no, I'm gonna pass. Get the experience. You know, Have someone come out and give you a, a price on it so that you know what you're talking about. And then next time you go see a house, you'll have more of a feeling for how much something like that would cost to fix. We can't figure out what's going on. There's, there's erosion happening for sure. Uh -huh. If you, you walk in that little kitchen, that bay, I mean, we're, you're definitely yeah. starting to settle. And you can tell they've been trying to repair it over the years. So somebody's going to deal with that. Yeah. And if you buy it, they're expecting you to deal with it. Sure. You know what I mean? So typically on a sewer, a sewer goes out the, the bottom of the house. So on the floor of the basement, mm -hmm. because the basement's finished, it's tough to see right now. It's out the bottom, and it usually goes out the front because it goes down the street. You, yes, okay. usually. Septic usually is in the backyard, mm -hmm. usually there's a, a septic or in the side yard, and the pipe will go out halfway up the wall and either out the side or the back. That's 95% of the time, that's how you know. Yes, but this basement is so finished that it's a little tough to see, but yeah. But I'm gonna look down here, there's a foundation problem we wanna look at. I don't have the best wardrobe for doing this walk today. So right up in here is kind of the area that's been settling. You can tell they've been trying to make repairs here. And again, we're on this incredible slope right here. So odds are there's erosion happening on a regular, can you imagine the amount of water that must rush down through here? You know what I mean? And over the years, it just keeps digging, digging. So as that erodes, it pulls more. And then pulls more, it's gonna settle more. So this is settling, that's, that's clearly settling. I mean, it's settled at least two inches down, maybe three. And you can tell they're trying to repair it over the years. So. You know, you want to have someone look at it, but this becomes a riskier gamble. Mm -hmm. you, get into, you get into foundation problems, that becomes a much riskier gamble, for sure. But we'll go over all the numbers back there, we'll see what that looks like, so. All right, so we're about done with the walkthrough portion of this uh, here in Atlanta. 
We're gonna go back to the hotel room now and kind of go over the numbers and how it all works, but um, interesting house to take a look at for sure. I guess what to remember from this on the Home Living Adventure piece is that uh, foundation problems can be very costly. They, you can make a lot of money, but you gotta really be careful and budget for them up front. So we're gonna go back through and run our numbers and see. Um, but what a beautiful neighborhood this is and uh, great to be in Atlanta. So pretty cool. All right, so listen, we're done with the Home Flipping Adventure here in Atlanta, Georgia. Just got through doing our walkthrough. We're gonna go in a hotel now and do our uh, analysis with our Home Flipping Evaluator, but we are, you guys have a good time today? Yeah! All right, everybody turn around, say hi to Mike. Wave to him. Hi, everybody. Hi, see you guys.